So what are some of the best Robin teams you can use her in? First of all, she's a harmony unit. So in general, you can just use her to buff any character and she's going to work fine. I'm just going to say that in the beginning, but she definitely has some teams where she can shine more and stuff like that. So in this video, we're just going to be going through them and hopefully you're going to understand where you should pull her or where she should be appreciated more. But if you want to pull for Robin and some of her best teammates, you're going to need Jades. One of the best, cheapest and safest ways to get Jades is going to be throughout Loot Bar GG. Loot Bar is going to be a safe and secure top-up website that's going to allow you to get cheaper shards for your Honkai Star Rail account. It's 100% safe and secure. Let me show you guys how to use Loot Bar. So you're just going to click the link in the comments and go to Honkai Star Rail, and then you're going to choose which offer you want. For example, I'm going to buy the 3,280 shards. If I buy that from the in-game store, it's going to cost me around $50, but on Loot Bar, it's going to cost $42 only. If you also use the 5% coupon for newcomers, you're going to save up even more money. So after all of that, it's going to be around 20% off that means i saved around ten dollars for this purchase then you're just going to put in your user id and the server region your user id is just a number down left from your screen and then the region is going to show before you open your game make sure to double check those because that's going to be very important to get your shards and then when you finish you can just click on top up now you enter your payment method and information and then you're done you're just going to wait a little bit for the payment to process for me it took around like 10 minutes and then when you open up the game the next time you're going to get the shards also if it's your first time buy-in um, especially after the 2.1 reset, you're still going to gain the normal double offers and stuff like that, like you're buying from in-game. Click the link in the comments to recharge now. All right, so back to the video. First of all, we're just going to explain very quick the main um, characteristics about Robin so we can understand how we build in these teams. First of all, her buffs are going to be damage bonus, crit damage, attack, and then more crit damage to follow-up attacks. She also deals damage when your allies attack and also regenerates energy when your allies attack too. That means the more your allies attack, the better for her. She can also give you team-wide buffs opposing to only one single target buffs. So looking at all of these, the crit damage bonus to follow-up attackers, she regenerates energy when your allies attack and also deals damage when they attack so you'd want your allies to attack more often and that's usually with follow-up attackers so you can obviously see that she can be played very well with follow-up attack team so with any follow-up attackers she's gonna pair pretty well with them obviously the best team for that and like the top tier follow-up attack team right now is gonna be with dr ratio and then topaz robin is a buffer and then as a sustain you can also add adventuring he's gonna be also a very good follow-up attacker in that team all of your allies are gonna be doing follow-up attacks robin is gonna be buffing all of them too mainly topaz and Dr. Ratio, and she's also going to be given damage bonus to eventually. So literally everyone in this team benefits from the other, and obviously all of them are going to be helping her regenerate more energy, and also her damage is going to tick when they attack. So this is a full team for Robin. This is probably the best team you can use her in. She's going to excel way better than any other Harmony in this team. Legit, everyone in this team synergizes pretty well with each other. You can still use her in other follow-up attack teams though, like with a Clara team. Clara is also going to be attacking more often, so she's going to pair pretty well with uh, Robin. So you can have a team like Clara, Topaz, for example, is just the follow-up attack base. And then Robin, and then a sustain. Probably not adventuring because it doesn't really pair well with Clara. But you can have something like Ho-Ho, for example, to help you regenerate more energy. She's going to pair pretty well with um, Robin, too, because she has huge energy issues. So Ho-Ho is going to be very, very good. Or Locha, or whatever, any sustain. But yeah, this team is going to work, too. And as I said, any follow-up attacker, really, who benefits from her buffs, like the crit damage and stuff like that, he can definitely take advantage out of her. So yeah, her first sub team is going to be follow-up attack teams those are the main teams you have right now but in the future i'm pretty sure it's going to work with most of the follow-up attack dps's Next team option we have is going to be a DOT team. That's actually going to be a very good place for Robin Shines too. DOT teams are going to be attacking more often, which is pretty good for her. And they also usually have multiple DPSs in the team or multiple like characters who deal DOT ticks. So Robin is going to be able to buff all of them. Also, she's going to be providing them with additional damage, which is pretty good. She can also give them a huge amount of attack, which is a super good buff for DOT teams. So yeah, she can work in most DOT teams. We can just give the obvious example, Kafka, Black Swan, for example, and then Robin. Robin. And then let's say, for example, Ho Ho, preferably, or any um, sustain. Ho Ho is probably going to be the best, but any sustain is going to work. So, yeah, that's just like the normal basic DOT team. Robin is definitely going to be one of the best um, harmonies for this team. She's going to be buffing both of Kafka and Black Swan. And then they're also going to be helping her build energy and they're going to be ticking her damage ticks, which is pretty good. So, yeah, DOT teams in general, they're going to work with um, Robin. Your next team composition is going to be a little more general and less like niche, but she's going to work in this sub 
of Team 2, which is just dual DPS teams in general. She's one of the few characters who can actually buff two characters at once. So with any dual DPS teams, she can work pretty well. Obviously, you just gotta make sure the two DPSs need her buffs. Other than that, any team who has like two DPSs that need attack or damage bonus and stuff like that, crit damage, which is most DPSs, she's gonna work pretty fine with them. To throw in some examples, we can have like a Jing Liu Blade team. So we can have like Jing Liu Blade and then Robin as a harmony for the whole team. And then like Ho Ho, Lu Cha or whatever. You probably don't want to use Aventure in this team because of Blade. But yeah, she's gonna work pretty well in that team. Um, Blade is not gonna benefit much from the attack buff, but he's gonna benefit from the damage bonus and the crit damage. Also, he's gonna be a follow-up attacker, so he's gonna benefit from the extra crit damage. And obviously, Jing Liu is gonna benefit from pretty much everything that Robin can offer, which is pretty good. A second team example is gonna be with like Haruda, Himiko, and then Robin, then let's say Ho Ho. This is also a very good team. It's pretty much the exact same thing. Um, Robin is gonna be providing both buffs for Himiko and Haruda. Ho Ho is just your sustain, and then that's it. Now, these other teams are obviously gonna be less efficient for Robin because probably you're not gonna get the full ticks. You're not gonna be able to have good uptime on your burst and stuff like that because they're not gonna be attacking as much. But the dual DPS buff is just gonna be worth it. She's gonna make sense in these type of teams. So yeah, dual DPS teams are definitely gonna be some of the best for Robin. And then finally, she's just a harmony. So this is gonna be like much more general. So you can just use her in hyper carry teams as especially as like a second harmony because most hyper carries are gonna have like a specific harmony that's gonna, you know, give them like the exact same things they need. But usually you can just slap in another harmony in the team if you have a slot. She's definitely not gonna be the optimal choice in all of these teams and stuff like that. But all I'm saying is at the end of the day, she's still a harmony. So she can be buffing any character pretty much. Just to throw in some examples, let's say for example, Jing Yuan team. Now Jing Yuan's best support or best harmony is definitely gonna be Ting Yun. We all know that. But if you're building like a hyper carry team for Jing Yuan, there are not really many, you know, options that you can go for. So usually you're just gonna slap in a second harmony and Robin's gonna work pretty fine with that. So you can just slap in like Jin Yuan, Ting Yun, and then you have Robin as your second harmony. She's gonna give him attack, um, damage bonus, stuff like that. All of these things Jin Yuan's gonna appreciate. And then also it's gonna be kind of a follow-up attacker. So he's gonna kind of synergize with her, but but he's not really like a focused follow-up attacker. That's why I didn't really include him in the follow-up attack section. But either way, you can play her with him as a hyper carry. You're still gonna give him his Ting Yun, but Adam Robin is not gonna hurt. And yeah, let's say for example, Ho Ho as a sustain, and then that's it. You have a very good team here. Another example is let's say Don Hong. We all know that Sparkle is gonna be his best harmony support and is gonna need her a lot in most of his teams. So Robin is definitely not taking Sparkle's place. Sparkle is always gonna be with Don Hung. But in a hyper carry team, again, there are not really many better options. So usually you just wanna use a second harmony or a second support of some sort. Robin is gonna work for this place. So you can just use like Don Hung and Sparkle and then add in Robin, then sustain like Ho Ho or Lucha. It's the exact same thing. Um, Sparkle is gonna be your main support, skill points and stuff like that. And then Robin is just gonna be giving you the attack, crit damage, everything. And Don Hung is always gonna appreciate that. Also with her and Sparkle, it's always gonna be like a good combination. So you can just have like Robin and Sparkle and then sustain. And then any DPS who needs to be a hyper carry, whether it's like Don Hung, Jing Wan, just whatever. But yeah, all I'm saying is she's just a harmony at the end of the day. So you can just slap her at any team or any hyper carry who needs her buffs, obviously like crit damage attack and the damage bonus. And they're gonna be very good. So she's also gonna have like that general flexibility. Obviously, she's not gonna be the best in some of these teams. We all know that, but she's definitely gonna be usable in this sort of teams. Her specialty is usually gonna be follow-up attack teams, DOT teams next, and then dual DPS teams is like the more general thing. But if you want to use her in like super general teams where you just want to slap her, she can just work anywhere with any like hyper carry as a second harmony or second buffer. But yeah, that was the video guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video. Peace.